Number three, blood is pumped from the heart at a rate of five liters per minute into the aorta of radius one centimeter. Determine the speed of blood through the aorta. So in order, uh, so the variable speed, right, we know is velocity. All right, so now take a look at the formulas on the right-hand side and tell me where velocity is. So it's going to be right here. All right, this tells us that Q, which is known as the volume flow rate, is equal to the area or the cross-sectional area of the tube that the fluid is flowing in multiplied by the average velocity. So just so we're familiar, Q has units of meter cubed per second. Area is in square meters. And then volume, excuse me, velocity will be uh, in meters per second. All right. So uh, basically, remember, uh, if you're looking at this term, right, cubic meters, know that this is a volume. Okay, so the volume flow rate is the volume of fluid flowing through a certain cross section per time per second. All right. Now they told us a volume flow rate. That's the five liters per minute, just not in the right units. All right. So let's just do a quick conversion first. So five liters per one minute. We need this in terms of cubic meters per second. So let's get rid of the liters and we can convert right to cubic meters instead of going through so many steps. Just know that there's a thousand liters in one cubic meter. So the liters goes bye bye. Now I got to get rid of the minutes. So since they originate in the denominator, I'm going to, I have to put them in the numerator now so that they cancel. And I do know the relationship between minutes and second, seconds, namely there's one minute every 60 seconds. So the minutes go bye bye. And lo and behold, now we have our value. It'd be five divided by 1000 times 60. All right. So I'm going to leave that as a uh, I'm not going to calculate the value. I'll, let me just move this conversion on up to the top. And what I'm going to do for Q is I'm going to plug in that. Okay, I'm going to plug in now that it's 5.0 divided then by 1,000 times 60. Okay, that's the volume flow rate in cubic meters per second. The area now, they told us the radius, but you know, if right in terms of it's a cylinder, right? The uh, vessel, the aorta is a cylindrical uh, object, and therefore... Uh, to find the radius of that cylindrical object, the cross section that is, it would simply be pi r squared, right? That's what the area is equal to. So in terms of then plugging in for area here, it's going to be equal to pi, then multiplied by the radius, and here it is, but we need it in terms of meters, so divide it by 100. This should be easy peasy at this point, multi and square that, and then multiply this then by, by the velocity. And we are after the velocity, so we just have to simply divide out now the pi times 0 0.01 squared from both sides. Divide out the pi times 0 0.01 squared. And here we go, we'll get the velocity, right? Not bad, just a bunch of steps. So five divided by 1,000, uh, whoops, five divided by parentheses 1,000 times 60, close parentheses, I get the numerator value, then take that and divide it then by uh, pi multiplied by 0 0.01 squared. And here we have a value of 0 0.265. 0 point, and probably two sig figs, I guess, here, 27. So I'll just round it to that. And this is meters per second. All right, so that takes care of that answer. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Hope this helped. Please remember to subscribe. See you next time.